What's up guys, my name is Cody and welcome to my YouTube channel where we help you take real world uh, principles from football and put them into practice into Madden. I hope you guys uh, had a great weekend and we're going to get into play two of our air raid offense. Now this play is going to help you beat cover two. So yesterday we talked a lot about mesh and today we're talking a little bit about this this um counter version of it that's going to help you beat cover two so i'm going to come out just in a dime defense and we're just going to come out in a cover four and the play you want to come out in is the spread y flex and then you want to make sure you have your best receiver on the right and what i do is i just set this in my audibles but the play is uh drive so we're going to come out and drive so we've been running mesh we've been hitting them with mesh over and over again and eventually what they're going to do is they're going to start running cover two to take right take away the corner route and then they're going to um use the middle of the field to try to take away the crossing patterns and so um this play right here is going to help you uh, combat that now what's cool about it is when you audible to it from mesh the players don't move they stay exactly the same um, let me see here let me show you the play art real quick but that's the play art and all you're, you're gonna do everything the same that you did with mesh so you don't need any hot routes to this play um, and you're just gonna motion the right the far right receiver in just a little bit and your first read is gonna be to triangle then it's gonna be to circle then to X and then lastly you'll look at Sammy Watkins or the running back Okay, so first read is triangle, that's not open, uh, cover four, so we're going to go to that check down. 90% of the time, you're going to either throw the triangle route or the check down. So I'm going to check into a cover two sink. The reason this is such a good play um, is against cover two sink and co any cover two defense, this uh, receiver here, they're going to have to make a choice whether they're going to go with the Y receiver or they're going to go with the circle receiver. So what will happen, especially if they're used to covering mesh and they're not used to anything going deep, what they'll do is they will take, let me show you here, this guy right here is going to be kind of in here, this guy right here will be kind of in here, and they're probably going to use her that middle linebacker, right over the middle to take away the crosser. So if they take away the crosser, what's going to happen is triangle is going to be open right in that little spot there and you're going to click on and make a possession catch now against certain defenses the corners will go with them so tip but typically um typically the corners won't um and so you'll be able to throw that if they do go then you just have that crossing route over the middle of the field but right there that's what's going to happen most of the time you're going to be able to throw it right in that window so that's what makes it such a good play is you have a big hitting route that takes advantage of a defense's weakness. Now, let's say they, maybe you guessed wrong, and they're just in a cover three defense. This play right here up the seam is going to be really good against cover three. You're still going to be able to fit that in, depending on where that safety is, if he's, if he's coming from the opposite side. If he's not coming from the opposite side, then you're going to have to do something different. But basically, you're just going to peek at triangle. If triangle is not open, most of the time, uh, Tyree Kill is going to be open, and you're just going to use the one cut mechanics to move him and then let's say let's say you're play, playing a cover uh four and they try to take away tyree kill so they play a cover for you they're trying to take away tyree kill you're going to see if they slip down you've got travis kelsey right on the back side of that and i don't throw that very often i mean we're probably talking maybe twice a game that route will go and again i call this play probably 30 percent I call mesh probably 40 to 50%, and I call this play about 30% in most of my games. Against man-to-man -man coverage, this is still going to be effective. And so your um, your, your triangle route might be against two man, a good two-man under. Your triangle route might be covered. But what will tend to happen is if they go, let's say they go like this. If they go cover zero on you, then you're going to have a good chance to, um, to just hit either again either that crosser or that vertical and if they press up on the vertical and then no one over top that will be wide open as well but here we'll show you uh, cover two one more time so you see if, if if that's covered you typically that in route because you have travis kelsey there 
that'll get wide open as well. So there are some options here. And then the last thing is like if they run a cover four and it's basically everything's covered and they're playing hard flat, you see, um, uh, I had bad timing on that. But if they play hard flats to take away your um, to take away your drag route, which they will do, um, what's going to leave open is you're going to be able to hit that comeback right when he turns around for a pretty big gain um, against the defense. It's also a really good read against man-to-man -man coverage. So if they're running man-to-man -man coverage, and let's just say like Stefan Gilmore just does his job right when he cuts back Sammy Watkins is going to be wide open as well so you have three routes that beat man-to-man -man coverage pretty much and then a combination of routes that beat zone coverage now again if everything is taken away you'll see here this little check down to the back is a consistent yard or two in even if it's covered if oftentimes it's not going to be covered um, you'll see actually what happens if they blitz if they go man blitz um, he'll stay in the block you know, so that's an advantage. What you want to do with this um, pass protection wise is you want to slide protect to the left. And it's going to cue that if anyone comes free off that right edge, uh, that running back is going to take care of them. So there he takes care of them. We pick up the blitz and we're able to get the ball out. So again, this is the play drive. And this is what I talk about when I talk about offense. This is a play that you're going to set them up with. So you've been setting them up with mesh over and over again, mesh, mesh, mesh. And then they run cover two, and now everything comes open against this play in cover two. So if they if they don't get a good bump, you see right there that possession catch is pretty consistent. And again, if you don't feel comfortable throwing that possession catch, which again, I probably throw the drag about 80% of the time when I run this play. That, that triangle route is typically just a pull away route and we check to the drag but that drag I've often gotten at least you know five to seven yards out of it but typically um, that has a really good potential to go for a long 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 play and if they bite down on it in the middle of the field you're going to be able to hit either the in route or the uh, the deep route I'm going to show you real quick on cover two you'll see that mid reads going to go right across so you can actually fit that in and what's good about deep in routes this year is if you possession catch them they're going to give you a nice diving animation if you hard pass lead to left kind of like post routes so right there and you'll see he'll just kind of sit in the zone and that's again just another read so this is just basically levels it's levels to divide is pretty much the concept we're running. It's called drive, but it's levels divide. Uh, it's a concept that Peyton Manning made famous, but it's basically a spinoff of four verticals. It's just four verticals on one side and levels on the other side. So I really like this play, and I hope you do too. I hope it helps. Let me know in the comments what you think of this series. If you'd like me to continue it, if you'd like to see me play a game with it, uh, what you would what would be most helpful to you? Because my goal here is to just help um, help all of us get better at the game. Okay, so just leave a comment, let me know what you think, and...